funny buzz were all about people's passion. Where'd your passion be a voice actor kind of come from? Was your performance inspired or something that was natural? <clears throat> well, uh, my mother tells me that um, from the time I could, I first started talking, uh-huh. I was mimicking voices of cartoon characters on TV and and I just kept doing that and then I started doing impressions of you know movie stars and things like that and um, I always loved doing it and then I when I was 15 I got a job at a radio station as a disc jockey and I found that um, I could use the, the voices in the comedy bits during the show and so I kept doing that in my radio career until I got to New York where all the commercials are done in New York, Chicago, and L.A. And uh, they noticed me and started having me do, do commercials with cartoon voices. I've Count Chocula for 40 years, Sonny the Cocoa Puffs Bird for 39 years, I think it is. So um, I, I got started really young. Very cool. Yeah. Tell, tell me about your radio career. I think it's fascinating. Where did you, uh, where did you uh, perform at, or what on air, I mean? Uh, well, I started in Peoria, Illinois. And then after a few years, I went to Fort Wayne, Indiana, the WOWO. And then I went after. Um, um, so we got the call letters out. I love it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, then I went. To, where did I go from Fort Wayne to Cleveland? WKYC, Cleveland. Then I got a job at uh, WJJD in Chicago, and then finally uh, WHN in New York, where I've been the last forty something years. Well, of course, I, I guess you're the most power uh, is the Thundercats. You know. Yeah. How did you, um, well, how are you approaching that? Well, tell, how did they tell you the concept of it? Because you're like, what, cats? You know? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I got called to an audition. Like, that's the way this business works. You know, you, your agent uh, sends you to auditions. And when we walked into the, um, when I say we, I mean there were about 200 actors uh-huh. during the course of the day. In there. And uh, we walked in this big room, and they were kind of like here, because these were all Thundercats drawings and, they okay, so you they got to see it before. Got to see what it looked like, and then they'd give us a synopsis of it, then told each of us to pick two characters as to audition with, one mutant and one Thundercat. Okay. So I just figured Thundercats, uh, 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 Lion, who's the lord of the Thundercats, he's the boss, so I thought, I'll try for that. And I liked the way uh, uh, Jackal Man looked, so um, I tried that one, and I got ended up getting both of those. But, you know, there were only five people in the cast of Thundercats, occasionally a six, but most of the time five. And we did every voice in 130 episodes. So we each wow. did dozens of voices. Now, back then, did you actually all record together? Or yeah. Or like, nowadays it's all separate? Yes, right? it is. Yeah. Unfortunately, now it's not as much fun as it was. But, yeah, we all, any time we were recording, we were all in, same, in the room together. That's yeah. awesome. Big semicircle, you know, with the microphone stands and everything. And there's talk now, I guess the, the director of Godzilla vs. Kong might be doing a live action Thundercats finally, you know? So. Uh, well, no, it's not live action. It's going to be CGI and animation. Oh, okay. Yeah. Even better. Yeah. yeah. Better. Hopefully better for me. Very nice. Uh, so people, if they can't go to Con to meet you, could you sell any prints or sign and stuff online by any chance? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. This is my agent. You tell me. Yeah. <laughs> so you can uh, you can go to uh, epictoysandcollectibles.com um, to buy uh, you know autographs, uh, autograph figures, autograph prints, posters, just about anything you want. What's the name of that again? That website? It's uh, www.epictoysandcollectibles.com. You see why I keep him with me? Uh, yeah, I can see why. <laughs> <laughs> I keep him with me.